Hello, my deeply nested files. I was kind of fooling around on the Helix Matrix group, and I had this crazy idea that maybe we could use the sh command in Helix to launch uh, an instance of LF and then get the file names that were picked in LF and use that to open them in Helix. And by doing so, we could actually have a tree file picker today. So me and a community member put our heads together and we came up with this. Well, really they came up with it and then I just kind of tweaked it a little bit and here we are. So I want to give you a quick demo. It's a little hacky, but I think that you will find it interesting at the very least. So let's go ahead and open up Helix here. And if we do our regular fuzzy finder, you can see these files in here, but we also have this control F that we've added, which launches LF and we can come in and we can grab a couple files and we can pick them and open them. That's pretty wild. So how did we do this? Now, if I'm gonna go ahead and go into config open, I'm gonna show you this file, this uh, this command that we have here, you know, we're gonna delete this old one. Um, but basically what we've got going on is we're opening a new scratch buffer. We are doing insert output um, LF pick, which I'll show you that command in a second. Then we're switching to the default theme. This is so that we can trigger a UI reload later um, to, get, to get some of the UI cruft out of the screen from doing that LF pick. Uh, we're gonna do select all, and that's selecting all of the paths that came back from doing the LF pick. We're gonna split selection on new lines, so we're creating multiple selections, one for each file path. Then we're doing go to file to actually open those in new buffers. Then we're going to our last modified file, which is a scratch buffer that we use to pull those paths in. And then we're going to close that buffer and force it closed. And then finally, we are going to change our theme back to the original theme. And that's what triggers the UI refresh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the actual LF pick function. So what we've got here is we create a new uh, a new path to a random temporary file, like a generated temporary file. Then we're going to run LF with the selection path to that temp file. Um, and what that does is when you go into LF and you pick those files, then it will take the paths of all the files that you picked and put it in that temporary file. Then we're just going to output that temporary file. So I'm going to show you what LF pick looks like outside of Helix. So if we go and go ahead and we're gonna go back to that same file, that same project, we're gonna do LF pick and it's gonna open up LF. We come down, we select a few things and then we accept it. And you can see that it's actually just outputted the file paths of all of the things that we have selected. So I'm gonna add a link to a gist in the section below and you guys can go ahead and play around with it. I think it's pretty cool. Am I gonna use it? I guess time will tell. It's, there are a couple instances where it's a little bit buggy, like the first file that you pick, but it seems like if you have any buffers open, it works perfectly, at least on my system it does, uh, running Mac OS. So let me know what you all think, and I really appreciate it. And now you can start picking those deeply nested files.